All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 11. All right. So now we're going to create another div element. Within it, we're going to nest a button to submit the form. This button should have the text calculate remaining calories, right? So we've got a little uh, hint here about this submit right there. Uh, then we're going to add a button with the ID set to clear, to clear the form. And we're not going to forget to give it a type attribute that prevents it from submitting the form, right? And this button needs to be, pardon me, this button needs the text clear. All right. So we'll start off with this div element. All right. So let's uh, tab it over a few times so that it matches this thing right here. Although we wouldn't normally have to do this in a text editor. Uh, so we'll tap it over once more and we'll say right here, div. Nope. Right. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll put a div right here. So div and we'll close off the div. All right. And then inside of this, we're going to uh, nest a button. So we'll say button. And since we're making two of them, we'll just copy this one as well. And uh, close button. All right, so let's copy this. All of uh, 56 to the end of 55 and drop it off right here. All right. So this first button, we're going to make it a submit. So we'll say type equals submit like that. And then inside of here, we're going to give it the text calculate remaining calories. All right. And then for this next one, we're going to give it the ID of clear. So ID equals, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there we go. So we'll give it the ID equals clear like that. And we're also going to give it the type attribute that prevents it from submitting the form. So we'll do this type button like right here. So we'll give it the type equals button like that. All right. And then we'll give it the text clear, and that should be it. So clear, like that. And so we've got these two buttons right here. Let's check the code. Nope, nope, nope. Calculate, oh, I must have spelled it wrong. Oh, calculate remaining calories. How about that? Now let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 12, and we'll see you next time.